This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App, Image Scroller, and Puzzle 9. Adding images, image URLs. Yes, we get to add our own pictures. We're ready to start improving the My Favorite Things app. We'll do this in two steps. We will change it from scrolling text to scrolling images. Awesome. We will add key events to scroll with the keyboard. Step 1. The default values in your array should be image URL, so links to images. The large text area needs to be changed to an image. Instead of setting the text, you'll now be using set image URL to create the URL of the image. Note, we've reloaded the code from the My Favorite Things app you wrote in the previous lesson. Oh, we did? Ah, uh, we did. Cool. Set the default values in your array to be images. What array? Oh, in the array I made. Okay. To be image URLs. You might need a minute to go collect a few if you didn't prepare. Didn't in the preparation for this lesson. Okay. So, to do this, this is how I declared my original array. I'm going to need to get rid of that, and I'll show you why. But I also am going to want to use here, because I don't need this. I want images, and it will be easier. Well, here. We want this to be an array still, so my array was named favorites, okay? And so I set it equals to an empty block, right? So that's a uh, block bracket on each side. And it's just empty. That lets the computer know, hey, create an array. Now that we have that, what we want to do is we're going to want to append to it. Because if I put three URLs here, it's going to go way off screen. But this way, it will be visible. Append item. And let's remember how append item works. So we want to say, for me, mine's called favorites, right? And that's the name of my array right here. That's the name. Favorites. And what I want to append goes here. And... You want to do it as a string, so the image link as a string. I've uh, preloaded mine, I guess. I'm going to magic my way over to another screen, hopefully. But uh, uh, And this is Wikimedia Commons. If you're not sure where to find your pictures, Wikimedia Commons is an excellent resource. Uh, this is Creative Commons, so I it is free for me to use, no royalties. There we are. And then I'm just going to grab this copy image address. So now I'm going to click here. Oh, right. I need to be in text mode. And paste. But, uh, ooh, that's long. Okay. And then I'm going to go down one line. And again, I'm going to do append item, comma, favorites comma, and then in quotes, I need an image link, that one I've done. Ah, I wanted a link of a teacher. So, let's see if I can copy image address this way, and then right click paste. Oh, that one's even longer. Okay, so that looked like an old school teacher, I liked it. And then one more append item. And then favorites is the name of my array, which is why I'm putting favorites there. And then what I'm going to append, it, it's going to be a string again, a URL. I'm going to get rid of that. And lucky for me, for the YouTube one, I have a picture of myself from one of my videos on my website. So, ta-da! I know, it's ridiculous. And I'm going to right-click and then paste. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have semicolons, and I don't. I thought I might not. Ah! Semicolon. Semicolon at the end of each of these. All right. So, we have our images. Now what? In design mode, delete the text area and replace it with an image. Make sure your image has a descriptive and meaningful ID. Okay. Delete the text area. My image? Okay, sorry. So, I guess we're just going to grab this text area, delete, now add an empty image, and pull. And it can be empty at first because it won't be empty for long. Um, and then 
They did my image. I'll steal that idea, I guess. My image. Okay. Inside your function that updates the display, replace set text. Replace set text with set image URL. So that updates the display. Add last button. Next. Next button. And what do I use to update my, oh, update screen. Okay, so where's my update screen function? That's what I called mine. Remember, we made this in the last lesson. Here we are. Okay, and then I, uh, they want me to replace it with set image URL. Up oh, here it is, set image URL. We want to leave this one of because I want to keep my count. So this set text, make sure to leave number labels, what mine's called, this thing. Now, image URL, my, yep. And then what do I want to change it to? Okay, and then I change it to one image. Oh, we're going to use, got it. We're going to, this is cool. We're going to use our, okay. So what we're doing now is we're going to use our array. I wonder though, are we going to, oh yeah. So remember how we were doing this? Mine was called favorites. And then uh, my index was called, I think, item index. So just a refresher. This is the global variable you saved at the top. Way up here. Favorites, yeah, that's your array. But then item index. That means every function, every part of this program can change item index. So that's how we keep track of which image or which part of it we are on. Are we on one? Are we on two? Are we on three? Because each of these, when we click like last, right, we decrease item index by one, right? Item index minus minus means decrease by one. We decrease it by one, and then we update the screen. And so the computer says, update screen. Okay, my image. Oh, my favorites away. Okay, so this is one, two, three. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, well, I need to decrease it by one now because my item index is one less. So what index? Oh, I'll go back one. And then it's going to set the image to be that, hopefully. Test to confirm. Let's see if I broke something. Code. Teacher. I'm so proud of us. And by us, I mean me. Me. <laughs> All right, so that is working. Awesome. And then I guess we're going to add keyboard keys next. Cool. Let's uh keep going. The tricky part is getting all of the, well, getting it added and then figuring out how to do this my label and the pictures. Make sure your pictures are strings. Okay, the pictures need to be string values. Uh, you want to use a pinned item. It's the easiest way. And then you got to update um, what I called it was update screen, update display, and leave this number label so it still changes. All right, onward.